Hello everyone and welcome to this interesting live session on machine learning engineer roles and responsibilities. So as you know we are living in the world of humans and machines and in today's world these machines have to be programmed before they start following your instructions. But what if the machines started learning on their own from their experience, work like us, feel like us and do things more accurately than us? Well here's where a machine learning engineer comes to picture to make sure everything is working according to the procedures and guidelines. Now in my opinion, machine learning is one of the most recent and exciting technology there is. You probably use it dozens of times a day without even knowing it. So before we indulge into the roles and responsibilities of a machine learning engineer, let's have a look at the exact definition of a machine learning engineer and understand who exactly a machine learning engineer is. So machine learning engineers are sophisticated programmers who develop machines and systems that can learn and apply knowledge without specific directions. Artificial intelligence is the ultimate goal of a machine learning engineer. They are computer programmers, but their focus goes beyond specifically programming machines to, to perform specific tasks. They create programs that will enable machines to take actions without being specifically directed to perform those tasks. Now let's have a look at the various salary trends of a machine learning engineer. So the average salary in the US for a machine learning engineer is around $111,000, whereas the average salary in India is around 7,19,000 rupees. Now if you have a look at the salary compensation of an entry level machine learning engineer, so the salary range is from $76,000 to $150,000. Now if you have a look at the bonus, it depends upon your experience and the company you are working for. It is, It ranges from $3,000 to $25,000, whereas the profit sharing is around $2,000 to $50,000, which makes the total pay uh, around $75,000 to $162,000. Now that is a very good amount for any entry level machine learning engineer. So. Let's have a look at the various skills which are required to become one machine learning engineer. So the first and the foremost requirement is to have a good grip on a programming language, preferably Python as it is easy to learn and its applications are wider than any other language. It is important to have a good understanding of topics like data structures, memory management and classes. Although Python is a very good language, it alone cannot help you. You will probably have to learn all these languages like C++, R, Python, and Java, and may also you need to work on MapReduce at some point of time. Now coming to the second skills which is calculus and statistics, familiarity with matrices, vectors, and matrix multiplication is required. A good understanding of derivatives and integrals is necessary. Now if you talk about signal processing, one of the few machine learning engineering skills is also to understand the signal processing techniques and have the ability to solve different problems using those techniques, as feature extraction is one of the most important parts of machine learning. The knowledge of time frequency analysis and advanced signal processing algorithms such as wavelets, shearlets, curvelets and bandlets will help you solve complex situations. Now talking about applied maths, a lot of machine learning techniques out there are just fancy types of function approximation. Having a firm understanding of algorithm theory and understanding subjects such as gradient descents, convex optimization, quadratic programming and partial differentiation will help you a lot. Now talking about neural networks, neural networks are themselves general function approximations which is why they can be applied to almost any machine learning problem without learning a complex mapping from the input to the output later. Neural networks have been by far the most accurate way of approaching many problems like translation, speech recognition and image classification. Now since natural language processing combines two of the most m major areas of work that is linguistic and computer science, and chances are at some point of time you are going to work with either text or audio or the video data. So it is necessary to have a good control over libraries like Gensim, NLTK and techniques like word to vec sentimental analysis and summarization. 
Now all of these six skills are the technical skills. Now let's talk about the non-technical skills we have. So first of all talking about industry knowledge, whichever industry you are working for you should know how that industry works and what will be beneficial for the business. Companies searching from a strong ML engineer are looking for someone who can clearly and fluently translate their technical findings to a non-technical team such as marketing or sales department. So effective communication is a very important skill here. Not talking about rapid prototyping, iterating on ideas as quickly as possible is mandatory for finding the one that works. In machine learning this applies to everything from picking the right model to working on projects such as A-B testing. Now that we have seen the skills required to become a machine learning engineer, let's see what are the roles and responsibility one faces. So the first and the foremost role is to study and transform data science prototypes. Data science has become widely accepted across a broad range of industries in the past few years. Originally more of a research topic, data science has early roots in scientists' efforts to understand human intelligence and hence create artificial intelligence. It has since proven that it can add real value to the business. So they need to study and transform all of these prototypes. The next role is to design machine learning system. Designs that scale teaches you to design and implement production ready machine learning system. Machine learning engineers need to learn the principles of reactive design as they build pipelines with Spark create highly scalable services with Akka and use powerful machine learning libraries like MLLib on massive data sets. Now you can use Scala but the same idea can also work for Java as well. Now coming to the next role is that the research and implement appropriate machine learning algorithm and tools. So, when you look at machine learning algorithms, there is no one solution or one approach that fits all. There are several factors that can affect your decision to choose a machine learning algorithm. Some problems are very specific and require a unique approach, while some other problems are very open and need a trial and error approach. Broadly speaking, there are three types of machine learning algorithms which are supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. Another role is to develop machine learning application according to the requirements. So we live in a start of revolutionized era due to development of data analytics, large computing power and cloud computing. Machine learning will definitely have a huge role there and the brains behind machine learning in is based on algorithms. So development of the machine learning applications require a collection of advanced languages, different systems and programming tools accessible only by select developers. Now coming to the one of the major roles of any machine learning engineer is to select appropriate data sets and data representation methods. This is a very big topic that is at the center of a big discussion. The short answer is it depends. In practice some form of cross validation is typically applied however there are ways to make an informed pre-selection. Essentially collecting data means putting your designs for collecting information into operation you have decided how you are going to get the information. Now talking about the basic approach one need to follow, it basically starts with the basic mathematics and statistics, then one needs to know about the type of data and its sources, the tools required for analysis such as R, SS, Python or MATLAB, the tools required for visualization which are the Tableau, Power BI, then we have databases which can be the SQL, NoSQL, we can have Hadoop, HDFS storage and then we have the machine learning along with the tools and packet requires. And finally, we have reporting. So machine learning engineers need to decide carefully what all data set to consider. Another role of a machine learning engineer is to run machine learning tests and experiments. So the ML experiments can take a long time, hours, days, and even weeks in some cases. This gives the engineer a lot of time to think and plan for additional experiments to perform. In addition, the average applied machine learning project may require tens to hundreds of discrete experiments in order to find a data preparation model and model configuration that gives good or great performance. 
The drawn out nature of the experiments means that you need to carefully plan and manage the order and the type of experiments that you run. So they need to be systematic. Now machine learning engineers also need to perform statistical analysis and fine tune the tests using the results. Statistics and machine learning are two very closely related fields. In fact, the line between the two can be very fuzzy at times. It would be fair to say that statistical methods are required to effectively work through a machine learning predictive modeling project. Exploratory data analysis, data summarization, and data visualization can be used to help frame your predictive modeling problem and better understand the data. Statistical hypothesis test and estimation statistics can aid in model selection and in presenting the skills and the prediction from final models. Then again, we have training and retaining system when necessary. Another way to keep the models up to date is to have an automated system to continuously evaluate and retrain the models. Nowadays, the models deal with streams of information. They need to be updated when they are fed new data that differs significantly from the data used to train them. This is why machine learning tools need to provide not only accurate but scalable, repeatable and ready-to-go solutions. Now this means that the machine learning tool should not necessarily look for the perfect immutable model but for flexible solution that can be retrained easily and brought to production in the shortest time as circumstances shift. Another role of a machine learning engineer is to extend the existing libraries and the frameworks. Complex statistics in machine learning worry a lot of developers. They need to learn various tree-based machine learning models. They also need to describe various support vector machine functionalities and the usage of kernel and also execute recommendation on the provided data. And finally, coming to the final responsibility of any machine learning engineer or any professional is to keep updated of the developments from the field. Now one must stay up to date with any up and coming changes. Every month new neural network models come out that outperform the other previous architecture. It also means that being aware of the news regarding the development of the tools, the theory and algorithms, using the research papers, blog, conference videos and online community. Now there are a lot of companies hiring machine learning engineers all the way from the big shots to the startups. So here are a few of those. We have Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, IBM, Nvidia, Walmart, LinkedIn, JB Morgan Chase. So as you can see, every company from various domains required a machine learning engineer. So with this, we come to an end of this video. Now, Edureka, as you know, provides a machine learning engineer master program that is aligned in such a way that you get acquainted in all the skills that are required to become a machine learning engineer and that too in the correct format. So, as you can see, it comprises of nine courses. So, do check it out, guys, and if you want to know, if you want to get into the details of the machine learning engineer's resume, the salary, or you want to go into the details of the skills which are required to become a machine learning engineer, do check out our other videos which are there on our playlist. So if you have any queries related to this video, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll revert to them as soon as possible. Thank you and have a nice day.